right. Um, in this video, we're going to look at uh, factorizing quadratics. Uh, we are going to look at the case when a is one. Um, but before we do that, it's going to be helpful uh, to start by um, um, reviewing some uh, rules of uh, adding and uh, multiplying directed numbers so i want to look at some rules of uh, addition and uh, multiplication of directed numbers um, so directed numbers all right so the first one uh, we're going to start with the addition ones um, so we know that uh, when you add a positive number to another positive number your answer is going to be positive too um, then um, secondly uh, if you add a negative number to another negative number then your answer again is going to be negative uh, just quick examples here yeah. so 4 plus 3 is going to be 7 and all three of them are negative whereas negative 4 plus negative 3 is going to be negative 7 now um however if you add two numbers that have got opposite signs um, so one of the number is positive then the other number is negative then the sign of the answer is always going to be the sign of the bigger number and magnitude um, so what do we mean by this for instance if you do negative 4 uh, plus 7 then um, 7 is bigger than 4 that means the answer is going to take the sign of 7 so this is going to be 3 um, whereas if we have a uh, uh, negative uh, 8 plus 5 then 8 is big in magnitude than 5 so the answer of this one is going to be negative 3 All right so those are the um, those are the rules for addition um, now, um, for multiplication, uh, if you have got a positive number and you multiply it by another positive number, then your answer is going to be positive as well. Uh, if you have negative number times another negative number, your answer is going to be a positive so when the two signs are the same when you multiply those numbers then your answer is going to be always positive then if these two signs are not the same then your answer is going to be always negative all right so those are the um, rules for addition and multiplication of directed numbers that we are going to um, need now so let's turn to quadratics now so when a is one our quadratic is going to look like this okay so here um, <clears throat> B and C are uh, just uh, coefficients numbers. So when we factorize this, um, we are going to get x plus m 
times x plus n um, where so a b and c m and n are all numbers but uh, we are mostly interested in these two numbers so m and n um, are numbers which are going to satisfy the following conditions um, so m times n is going to always multiply to give c while m plus n must always add to give b so um, i think it's a bit obvious why the because uh, the last term here if you open brackets is mn and so it should uh, correspond to that and then uh, the middle term uh, is such that when you add those two numbers you get b here um, so let's see how this works out uh, through um, some ex so through some examples okay so in this example we want to factorize x squared plus 6x plus 8 which means we want to look for two numbers m and n so that they multiply to give 8 and uh, at the same time n and n must add to give 6 okay um, we can either look for these numbers uh, just by uh, you know um, working them out in our head um, or we could uh, do this systematically I'm going to show you a systematic uh, method which is going to be helpful um, if the numbers are a bit a bit on the large side uh, like right now we could uh, just uh, uh, work this out mentally two numbers that add up to six and multiply to eight and we could get them but uh, so let me show you how the systematic root is going to work so first we're going to say since these two numbers multiply to give a positive eight it means the two numbers must have the same sign okay so they are either both positive or they're both negative then they add to give a positive number here so um that means they are going to be both positive you can't have two numbers that are both negative adding to give a positive right then after that we set up a table um, in this table at the top we are just going to look for numbers that multiply to eight so starting with one one goes with eight Okay, so 1 times 8 is 8, and then here we are going to do the sum of 1 and 8. So that's going to be 9. Then next we go to 2. 2 goes with 4. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 plus 4 is 6. As soon as this number matches this one, then we have got uh, our two numbers. So in this case, uh, m is going to be 2 and n is going to be 4 or vice versa so then we can go back here and say so this factorizes to x plus 2 times x plus 4 okay so this is just a systematic way of finding those two numbers uh, but otherwise if you can find them in your head straight away then that is good enough as well okay in the second example suppose we have got uh, x squared minus 5x plus 6 all right so in this case we're going to look for two numbers m and n 
such that they multiply to give 6 which again is a positive so that means the two numbers uh, must have the same sign so they are either both positive or both negative then secondly they must add up to f negative 5 so this time it means they must both be negative because you can't add two positive numbers and get a uh, negative so they should both be negative so if we do that uh, table again we're going to start with one and six but this time they must both be negative then when we add negative one and negative six we get negative seven then we go to two two goes with three they must both be negative negative two plus negative three is negative five which is now matching with that so that means this is our m and this is our n so this factorizes to x minus two times x minus three um, notice that uh, we could remove brackets here if we remove brackets it must give us the expression we started with uh, but just a quick way of checking we multiply the first two terms we must get the first term here if we multiply the last two numbers we must get the last number here so that we can always do just to quickly check uh, if our calculation is uh, is good um, so that was B uh, let's go to C uh, in C we are going to have x squared plus 13x plus 42 now I'm going to notice that the numbers are a bit uh, big here so this is where that uh, systematic approach is going to be helpful so m times n in this case must give us 42 um, so 42 is positive so this is telling us that the two numbers we are looking for should have the same sign then m times n is b which is 13 which is also positive so that means um, this is telling us that either both positive or both negative this is telling us they are both positive so we have to look through factors of 42 um, we want two of them that add up to 13 okay so one goes with 42 1 plus 42 is 43 uh, 2 goes with 21 um, if you add there we get 23 uh, then 3 goes into 41 it uh, goes so 3 goes into 4 ones um, so that is going to be uh, 3 goes into 12 four times so it's actually going to be 14 here 3 plus 14 is 17 then 4 doesn't go into 42 5 doesn't go uh, 6 goes 7 times 6 plus 7 is 13 so this is now matching with that so these are our two numbers so that means this factorizes to x plus 6 into x plus 7 okay um, then in D suppose we have got uh, x squared plus 2x minus 8 um, so this time m times n must give us negative 8 so if the two numbers multiply to give a negative 
it means they must have opposite signs so one is positive and the other one is negative then when we add them we get two so this is telling us that the bigger number must be positive because this answer we're getting is positive here so bigger is positive so using this again we can start looking through the factors of 12 sorry factors of 8 so we start with 1 and 8 the bigger is 8 so 8 must be positive so we put the negative there because <clears throat> the numbers we know must have opposite signs then 8 plus negative 1 is 7 so again we keep going until uh, the number here matches with that one then we go to 2 uh, so negative 2 must go with 4 when you add these we get 2 so again it means these are our two numbers so we're going to have here x minus 2 uh, into x plus 4. Um, then uh, in, um, in uh, the next example, suppose we have got uh, x squared plus it's actually x squared minus 3x minus 28 okay um so again the numbers are just a bit uh, big um, so m times n here must be equal to negative 28 so again the two numbers we're looking for must have opposite signs and then m plus n must be negative 3 so this time it means that the bigger number must be negative because the sign of this number is negative. Then we look through um, factors of uh, negative 28. So 1 goes with 28. The bigger one is negative, so we put negative there. So when you add those two, we're going to get negative 27. Um, 2 goes with uh, half of 28 is 14. The negative must be there. So that must be negative 12 in the lower column. 3 doesn't go into 28. 4 goes 7 times. Uh, this must be negative 3. And so these are the two numbers we're looking for. So this is factorizing to x plus 4 into x minus 7. Um, just one last example. Uh, in uh, f, suppose we have got x squared plus 4x minus 45. So again, um, the numbers are a bit uh, large. The mn is negative 45. So this is telling us that the two numbers we're looking for have got opposite signs because that's a negative number. Then this is telling us uh, which one is going to be bigger. So since we've got four, then the bigger one is going to be the positive one. Okay, so let's uh, do our table. 1 and 45 uh, but the bigger one must be the positive one so put negative here when we add here there's going to be 44 2 doesn't go into 45 3 goes uh, 15 times put negative here so this is going to give us 12 here 4 doesn't go 5 goes 9 times uh, we put negative on the smaller one this is giving us 4 um, so that means the factors of this are x 
minus 5 into x plus 9. All right, uh, let's give you a few to try. Um, so if you uh, will, uh, you can just pause the video, try this, and then when you uh, press play again, then you can compare with uh, our answer. So x squared minus 7x plus 12, uh, then here x squared minus 16 and for la the last one x squared plus 3x minus 40 all right all right um, at this point we're going to go into the solution of uh, these uh, three examples here if you still hadn't gone through them please do and then uh, pause the video so right now I'm going to scroll down into the answers so for the first one um, the two numbers are looking for must uh, multiply to give 12 so that means they have the same sign they must add to give negative 7 so that means they're both negative so then those two numbers are going to be negative 3 and negative 4. So this is going to be x minus 3 into x minus 4. We can find them either mentally or by uh, going through this uh, tabular approach. Okay, in this case, uh, we notice that the x term is missing. So the two numbers we are looking for must multiply to give negative 16, which means they've got opposite signs, and then they must add up to give 0, because if the x term is missing here, means b is 0. So this one means the two numbers we are looking for, they are equal, but have got opposite signs, and then it's going to be 4 and negative 4. So this is x minus 4 into x plus 4 so this is actually a difference of two squares okay this time m and n multiply to give negative 40 which means the numbers we're looking for have got opposite signs they add up to give 8 uh, which means the bigger one is positive because sorry they add up to give 3 because this number is positive then uh, 1 and 40 so bigger is positive so we'll put the negative 1 here when you add them that's 39 2 goes with 20 negative 2 when you add them you get 18 3 doesn't go negative 4 goes with 10 when you add them you get 6 and then 5 goes with 8 when you add them goes you get uh, 3 so that means uh, our factors here uh, x minus 5 into x plus 8 okay 